William Shatner is using new technology to preserve his story and legacy for generations to come. Jake had a chance to talk with him and joins us now with more. I like this idea. Yeah, it's really cool. So there's this new service called Story File, where you sit down in front of a camera, you answer hundreds, maybe thousands of questions about yourself and your life, and then for generations to come, your kids or your grandkids or your great grandkids can end up having kind of a virtual conversation with you asking questions that you spent all that time answering. So William Shatner recently took part in this. The 90 year old actor spent five days, answered almost a thousand questions. So anyone could have a conversation with him about any aspect of his life. So I wanted to know after looking back on his life like he did, what is he most proud of? Proud of? Proud of in my life. I, <laughs> we have family, you know, all the standard answers. But uh, I'm not proud of, uh, I, I, the word proud doesn't enter into it. Appreciate the health and the energy and the I appreciate what I've, what the way I've been able, a way fate uh, has allowed me to uh, to live, uh, because so much of your quality of life is accidental. If you have a bad accident, you're you're not going to be as happy as if you don't have that accident. So uh, luck has a great deal to, to do with it, uh, or faith, or you know whatever uh, whatever uh, suits you. Uh, so yes, my ability to talk to you intelligently is something I'm very proud of. Now guys, one of my favorite pieces of movie trivia right there, the Michael Myers mask from the 1978 film Halloween. If you didn't know this, it's actually just an old Captain Kirk mask with the eyes cut out. He was spray painted white, the hair was tussled a bit. So I wanted to know what was his first reaction the first time someone told him that his face is the face of Michael Myers? Well, uh, just what you said is in all probability what somebody said to me. I don't remember the exact moment, but I thought, uh, is that a joke? Are they kidding? And then I saw, I don't think I saw the movie, but I saw the, the mask uh, in, probably in a picture, and I recognized it as the death mask that they had made for me. Um, they made a mask of my face on Star Trek with clay uh, so that I wouldn't have to be available for the prosthetics that they would put on my face to look old or, or uh, evil or whatever it was that they were making me look like. So that mask is existed in Star Trek. So somewhere along the line, somebody got that mask and made a, made a mask of it for Halloween. And then the story is, get me a mask, uh, said the director. So the guy ran into this Halloween store and grabbed this mask and it happened to be of me. Uh, that's the story I know. So it's just that I love weird, random movie yeah, trivia, and that's one of my favorite movie trivia facts of all time. And he seems to have a hit, at least 40 years later, has yeah. a pretty good sense of humor about it. Taking it in stride, because it's one thing, I know Alyssa Milano inspired the Disney animators with Ariel, Little yes. Mermaid, but to like hear that you like inspired the face of a, a one of serial the killer. greatest serial killers, yeah. That's, yeah. Another, that's another thing. I'm seeing the Whole new one tonight, thing. are you coming with me? Uh, excuse me, say what? I'm seeing the new one tonight. Do you want to come with me? Uh, do you know me? Okay, but maybe. I'm not, but no, maybe. I don't do horror movies. I told you I don't watch any movie that I need to go see with my Bible in hand, okay? <laughs> but it could be heartwarming. It's called no, Halloween Kills. I don't think so. I love me some Jamie Lee Curtis, She's but great. I'm good on that. You let All me right. know how it is. I will.